I'm Steve from Bass and Grass, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's so damn hot outside that I just want to do something in the studio today. Since I'm having a hard time fishing, I bet a lot of people are having a hard time. So we're going to do something nice and give away a bunch of bass fishing lures just because I want you to catch more fish. Yeah, it's been a real grind out there. Today, it's supposed to be in the high 90s with a heat index of over 105. Something to do with this ring of fire? I don't know. I have been fishing early in the morning with some top water and getting a few bites and I'll make a video of that but it's just all around slow it's so hot I don't even want to take the boat out it's times like these I start looking through some fishing stuff I look through my old collection of fishing games I look through some magazines some books whatever I got looking for tips looking for inspiration so that's what I'm doing today handing out inspiration hoping that I can help you catch more fish on these super long hot summer days. Let's see what we're giving away. The first item here is a Savage Gear Real 3D Scan Lily Ninja Popping Frog. Right, so in the summer early morning you get out there in the weeds and cover and fish a frog even I caught two bass this year on hollow body frogs my first two bass ever so I'm pretty excited about this bait it's a grind but man when they blow up on it it's totally worth it it took me a little while to get enough confidence to go out there and throw it until I caught something but that's what I did, and I finally caught one. So, Savage Gear, Lily Ninja, Topwater Frog, Good Summer Lure. We also have an H2O Express 3.5 inch jointed sunfish swim bait. Not the biggest swim bait out there, but bluegill size, realistic paint job. I mean, you're probably not going to catch a bluegill on this. This is going to be for predator fish. You might get a catfish. You might get a pike or something like that. But it can definitely also catch a bass. I don't have a whole lot of luck on this kind of bait. But, you know, I'm just an amateur bank angler who's starting to explore his lake in a boat. I just don't have a ton of experience fishing this. But I know people catch them using a lure like this. Let's see what else we're giving away. Here we have a tour grade swimming jig by Strike King. I see a lot of videos on the internet. Recently I've seen some by Alex Rudd fishing a swim jig with a Rage Tail trailer. You can watch his videos to learn more about that. He really likes this in the summer. I'm trying to get one on this. I haven't got one yet. I think once they're feeding more aggressively on shad, I'll be able to get some on this. But I'm giving it away. I have plenty of them. Hopefully you can catch a good bass on a swimming jig. Next up in the giveaway, we got some big bite baits super fluke style baits here is this can I open this is it sealed I can open it I just want to get a quick measurement on this this isn't that typical small fluke where's a damn tape measure there we go my little Stanley three foot tape measure 
All right, six inch flukes. A little bit larger profile. Hopefully it can get some summer bass. Finally, moving on to the last item in the giveaway. We got some power bait power worms. 10 inch worms, 10 inchers. Let's take a quick look. There we go, 10 inch worm. Good for those big summer bass. When I first started out my channel, I made a video about fishing big worms. I'm out there trying to catch my PB bass. Guess what I caught instead? A turtle. Soft shell turtle. Pretty big one too. Got pretty good views on that video too for being a, you know, accidental catch video. So there we go. Quick recap. We got power bait worms, 10 inchers. Big bite baits, super fluke style, 6 inchers. Can't forget that swim jig. Jointed swim bait. And topwater frog. All you gotta do, be subscribed, like the video, leave a comment down below. I'll pick a winner in a future video when I think all of my subscribers have had a chance to watch this. I got something interesting in the mail the other day. Hold on a sec. Ah yes, this is it. United States Patent Office. What could this be? United States of America Patent and Trademark Office Realistic Fishing Check it out Realistic Fishing I finally got my trademark I had been warned by a few people that There are people in the world who will take advantage of someone who has a popular idea and a popular product who hasn't trademarked or patented their name or idea and other people just try to swoop in and steal it, make something with your name and take all the glory. Well, f those people. I got it right here. Finally, trademarked, realistic fishing. That's my name. Don't use it. So that's good news. Good for the show. Helps protect my show. I can keep bringing you more fishing episodes, more deals, more giveaways, more everything. And more of my awesome, positive attitude. So yeah, that's awesome. Got a trademark. I got a lot of lures to give away. I have a YouTube show that I'm very proud of, and I have a bunch of great subscribers out there. Everyone who supports me on all my social media sites, as well as my patrons, even when the fishing is rough, I still enjoy fishing lures, I still enjoy everything fishing. Just curious how hot it is right now. Feels like 104. Maybe I'll go out and mow the lawn. Maybe not. Oh yeah, before I forget, trivia is still open. If you know my favorite lure, just go to realisticfishing.com, go to the trivia section, type it in, and you'll be entered for a giveaway. Just a reminder, the trivia giveaway was for a Chug and Spook Jr., a Booyah Pond Magic Spinner Braid, a package of Brush Hogs, and a Scum Frog. So don't forget to go enter in the trivia. Good luck on this giveaway. Stay cool in the ring of fire. And most importantly, keep it realistic. Thanks for watching this in-studio episode of Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Now to get a picture for Instagram.
I think that'll do it.